Good morning. Welcome to your local news for today, Tuesday, June 11, 2019. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. Thank you for joining us. Caribbean Pesticides Conference opened yesterday. Inspection on project developers will be increased. Minister of Finance advocates for better arrangement of the budget. And wheelchair buses finally handed over to two elderly homes. Suriname is on schedule to help sharpen up the pesticides policy within the Caribbean community, CARICOM. Minister Rabin Pamasar announced this yesterday at the opening of the 23rd annual meeting of the CGPC, the coordination group that carries out the control of pesticide usage in the region. Various points of interest were discussed during the meeting, as well as alternative methods to replace the use of pesticides. Results of studies on the effects of pesticide usage on agricultural land will also be shared. In addition, the safe man management of empty pesticide bottles is also one of the focus areas. The main objective of the CGPC is to determine regional strategies for reducing the use of pesticides within the agro-industry. The associated members are the representatives of the pesticide industry and observers consisting of a number of regional and international support organizations such as the IICA, FAO, PAHO and the CARICOM Secretariat. The Ministry of Public Works, Transport and Communication will soon increase the inspection on project developers. According to Minister Vijay Chutkan, the tightened rules will be applied on the allotment permits for project developers as soon as possible. There are still entrepreneurs who do not adhere to the permit conditions for allotments from the Ministry of Public Works, Transport and Communication. This includes the construction of infrastructure. According to Minister Chatkan, this issue is a common complaint from the community. To protect the community against rogue practices, the law will be applied to this issue. Minister Gilmore Hufdrad advocates for a better arrangement of the budget. This is what the minister said during the press briefing last Friday at the Ministry of Finance. A better arrangement ensures that the budget will look better and that will lead to better planning. The data serves as a guarantee for the welfare of the population. According to Minister Hufdrad, the government's contribution plays a big role in this. <laughs> The elderly homes Magella and Ashiana received the promised wheelchair buses from Suede. These buses were promised to the organization after the, after the 2016 fundraising campaign. However, it took a while before the buses were delivered because the funds were not available. Through the intervention of a car dealer, it has come to the point that the keys could be handed over to the two care institutions last Sunday. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day.